Good day. In this video, I'll be talking about the different types of ships launched by China over the course of 2023, especially the ships launched in recent months. I'll then move on to how many ships are actually commissioned into the PLA Navy, that is the number of ships inducted into service in 2023, and what this will mean for the size of the PLAN going forward, at least for the near future. To begin with, we have this picture, or more accurately, a pictogram. The pictogram is titled, The PLAN 2023 Launched Warship Pictogram. And it shows the number and different categories of warships launched by China in the whole year. We can see a single flat-top amphibious warship, the Type 075 Landing Helicopter Dock, or LHD. We also see four destroyers, three nuclear attack submarines with guided missiles, two advanced frigates, and two conventional submarines. For a total of 13 new warships launched by Chinese naval shipyards over the course of the past year. Now, the information underpinning this visual is sourced from the Chinese internet, but I did corroborate between multiple information sources to make sure the information in the picture is correct. And from what I can see, it seems to be on point. Within the set of warships launched in 2023, Four of these were launched in the last three months. These are the single Type 075 amphibious flattop, and two of the destroyers, as well as one frigate. So China's naval shipyards have not stopped by any means as the year draws to a close. The Type 075 LHD launched this year is the fourth ship of its class. It was launched from the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard in Shanghai in mid-December. The vessel was laid down in June of this year, meaning it has only taken about five months between keel laying and launch. Now, to be fair, assembly time inside the dry dock will naturally vary between different countries, depending on different practices in naval construction around just how much of the ship you want to actually finish inside the dry dock. Remember, a part of the construction process occurs in fitting out, which occurs after launch. Some countries, such as China, want to launch the ship in a relatively early stage of the construction process. That is to say, fitting out happens mostly after launch, so that the space inside the dry dock can be made available for the next ship to be constructed. And this is important for countries like China, that builds many, many ships in a single year. Nevertheless, putting aside the differences in benchmark the ship must reach in order to be launched, taking only five months to build an amphibious warship of this size still shows the efficiency of Chinese naval construction. As for the four destroyers, they are the Type 052DL variant, with the larger helipad and hangar, that is optimized for carrying the Z-20F anti-submarine helo. That's the PLAN's latest anti-submarine helicopter. So that's the main difference between the 052DL and the original 052D. Now two of the four new destroyers were launched back in March, in fact on March the 10th, by the Dalian shipyard on the northern shores of the Yellow Sea. In fact, I made a video about the topic a while ago, back in March. Fast forward to the last three months, we have more destroyer launches, although these occurred in a sporadic fashion, so there wasn't any large-scale launches of multiple warships at the same time, the type of events that is worth making a video about. Nevertheless, destroyer launches did happen. On the 28th of August, the Dalian shipyard launched another destroyer, meaning out of the original five destroyers that began construction at Dalian in late 2022, only two remains inside the dry dock, and these can be launched at any time going forward, and certainly not too long away from now. On the 28th of October, the Jianan shipyard in Shanghai launched a fourth destroyer for 2023. And this unit must have been constructing inside a covered shed. 
because there wasn't any signs that a destroyer was about to finish before the launch. Now back to the pictogram. The two frigates you see on the right hand side are the Type 054B frigate. The most advanced frigate China has built so far. And they are built for anti-submarine warfare. Which is similar to the role of most frigates in Western navies. The leadership of the Type 054B class began construction in late January 2022 in the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard at the old site on the Huangpu River. The leadership was launched in late August of this year. The second vessel of the new frigate class was launched by the Huangpu Wentong shipyard in Guangzhou in southern China. And this happened in late November, which I also made a video about. The construction process also varied slightly between the two shipyards for the Type 054B frigate. The one built at the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard was constructed in an open dry dock, while the one built at Huangpu Wentong was built in a covered shed. Nevertheless, both of these were highly visible to outside observers, through one medium or another, from satellite photos to close-in pictures taken by cameras. The three nuclear attack submarines are of the Type 093B guided missile variant of the class. China has launched four ships of this submarine variant. The first unit was launched in late 2022, while the remaining three were launched this year by the Bohai shipyard from the new submarine production facilities that were built between 2019 and 2021. Incidentally, the new admiral promoted to the overall command of the PLAN by President Xi Jinping himself is reportedly a submarine expert. And this is consistent with the widely held view that the PLAN is placing greater and greater emphasis on nuclear submarine capabilities, and that the 2020s will be a submarine decade for the PLA Navy. The new PLAN top admiral's name is Hu Zhongming. In December 2019, he was promoted to be the commander of the Northern Fleet, he was Rear Admiral in July 2014, Vice Admiral in December 2019, and Full Admiral in December 2023, in line with his promotion to be the overall PLAN commander. Now, he's still a fairly unknown figure, so we'll see what his tenure brings to the PLAN going forward. In terms of conventional submarines, there's a lot more uncertainty with respect to how many were launched and how many are available. Because these subs are more numerous and are harder to visually verify on an individual unit basis. And there are multiple shipyards that can potentially build them and have built them. But what we do know is that at least two verified units of conventional submarines have been launched this year. They are the new variant of the Yuan class AIP submarine family. AIP standing for Air Independent Propulsion, which allows a diesel boat to stay underwater for far longer than without AIP. The variant launched is named the Type 039C, which has a distinctive stealthy sail. What I'm showing you is a very good video of a Type 039C sailing on the surface. The quality of this video is quite high for a non-official source. You can clearly see the distinct features of the submarine sail. Anyway, at least two boats of this class were launched in 2023, and possibly more. In terms of ships that were commissioned in 2023, so they were launched a while ago, and they entered service into the PLAN this year. We have here another pictogram. And it shows a grand total of 10 combat vessels entering the PLAN in 2023. They consist of one of the earlier Type 039C submarine, two units of the Type 055 from an earlier batch of eight ships that were finally commissioned in 2023. And lastly, the final seven ships of the Type 054A class of frigates. 
And these are the new variants, armed with the HHQ-16F medium to long range surface to air missile, designed for the smaller HAJK-16 frigates VLS. China now has 40 ships of the Type 054A class in service, plus four more units exported to its de facto ally, Pakistan. So to summarize the warship commissioned in 2023, the PLAN inducted a single conventional submarine, two large destroyers, and seven frigates. Now back to the number of launches of warships that we discussed previously. The pace of launches of Chinese warships has actually been quite slow compared to recent years. And this reflects relatively few keel laying in 2021 and early 2022. But we have seen a recovery or a pickup or re-emergence in the start of construction of new warships in 2023 meaning a greater number of new warships can be expected to be launched in 2024. And the overall size of the PLAN should continue to grow over the coming years, especially with relatively few vessels expected to be decommissioned over the next 10 years. To see a review of new information on the construction of new Type 055 large destroyers, Please watch this video right here. See you next time.